Good evening, and welcome back to episode 2 of Woe Plays XCOM Files. Last time we left off, we were entering into a um, another mission, and I have handled the uh, loadout off-screen. So now we'll just hop right into tracking down cultists and trying to keep our guys alive. Hopefully we'll do a little bit better about that this episode than last episode. Spread away from the van. Hopefully there aren't any guys ready to pick us off as soon as I end the turn, but you never know. Actually, these guys, I'm going to just have you run up here because you can't shoot back anyway. Getting a little more visibility might be helpful. Can you actually, no, you can't run over there, so I'm just going to have you run over that way. Alright, and turn. Nobody's shooting at me yet. That's a potentially good sign. Looking forward to um, making a couple of captures instead of a couple of deaths this time around. This guy will um, hang out over this way. And you... Over Taurus. You'll come up behind this other one. What's this guy's name? Oh. Okay. So, I intended to rename people's troops by, um, hacking the save file, but apparently that, um, broke the save file and did something wrong when I did it, so I'll just have to do that in-game. I'll pause the video to do that when I get out of this mission so that people can get named soldiers. Uh, where do you want to go? Maybe I'll just have you go up the ladder. You see anybody? No? Alright, you're out of T's anyway. Oh. oh, can you shoot him from here? Yeah. Awesome. First cultist down. Where's the second one? He's hiding. Where is he? Oh, well. I still don't see him. All right. Well, since you decide you want to pick a fight with my agent, we're just going to have to beat you to pieces. No? No luck? All right. Oh, shoot. These shotguns work fine. So you're gonna climb up here. You, you can't actually enter from here. So can you see in there? See anybody? No. This is the entrance. Wonderful. Uh, 
There's probably two more cultists in the area. Of which I see zero. Oh, well. I have a vague idea where one is. Oh, he got back up. That bastard. Well. Limited choices. She'll be coming around the corner when she comes. She'll be coming around the corner when she comes. La da da da. the time to be going it alone, so you'll just hang out while backup gets to you. And you... Oh, there's a cultist. I'll just drop the... Oh, I have a taser. I wonder if I can zap him from there. Oh, there's the other cultist. Shooting at me from behind. Cool. Uh, you come running back here. Since obviously I didn't see the cultist and he's right over there. You come chasing him. Charging in here. That's possibly where you are. Slimy bastard. And you sold out over to there. Turn. There he is. and a snub nose. Wonderful. Also close to engage. Got him! Awesome! Only lost one. Captured two. Good job, guys. Got some promotions. Lost a rookie. Alright, base. Purchase another agent. Okay, and I'm gonna pause here while I rename guys, and then I will um, be right back. And we're back. Gonna zip ahead, and we have Kevlar. Awesome. Now we're going to start researching all sorts of stuff because, well, we need to have um, a diversity of researches going on. Put three guys on that and one guy on that. All right. And Kevlar. 
because I'm sure most of you want agents who live longer than a single episode. Okay. Go to base. Quick craft. One, two. There's actually some good rookies, or are they just terrible rookies? Oh, they're the best I have at the moment. Armor. Everyone gets Kevlar. Kevlar for everybody. Kevlar's actually the best armor you have in the game for quite some time, so... It'll help out quite a bit. Okay... Base, agents, training... And now we'll equip the final craft with the last agent that it can take. Best one available. And equip everybody with Kevlar. Finally, we are actually starting to have our team looking like a real team. I'm just going to skip ahead until go to base. All right. Purchase. We're going to purchase another four guys and another van. And there's suspects. Intercept with van one. Pilots. Pilot. Bad pilot. That's the problem. When people get hurt, you lose your pilot and don't even realize it. Send them out. Skip ahead. Okay. Yes. So, cult apprehension. I don't even remember if this is a night mission. Wonderful. Well, I may be overloading some of these guys, but that's just going to have to work out. Alright. Yep, night mission. Gotta love it. Alright. You'll go over this way. Hope nobody goes bump in the night. You'll come over that way. You will... Yeah, you don't have much range because you're so overburdened. And you... Come around there. On the plus side, nobody's likely to be up here. And you get some good vision. Oh, there's our first cultist. And our second cultist. Wow. Exciting. Tori. We'll just drop the flashlight here and pull out this. Spin about. And zap him. Or at least try to zap him. You... do you have one of those? Yes, you do. Drop, pull out. I wonder if you can zap him from here. That would be glorious if you could. No, you can't. Oh, I guess he'll just have to come this way. You... Ah, uh, okay. Do you have a... No, you don't. So you're just gonna... Drop that. And with the interest of... Whoops. Well, I took out two of them, but... Carol Webb, unfortunately, did not make it. Book Thief, you're a murderer. 
but it could be okay even though. You'll have to make it up to us somehow. This guy insane, you're running up with a taser. And King's Rook, you're also running up with a taser. That cultist is a badass, taking two direct shots and walking off. Let's uh, try and zap him down. Well, I got him down. Now let's see here. This guy insane, you're gonna go rolling solo, trying to find this final cultist. Probably sneaking about somewhere. Cultists that go bump in the night. Alright, so creep on in there. Sometimes guys like to hide in those kinds of places. Oh, oh, we spotted him. There he is. Move to protect him. And where's our last guy? King's Rook. Do you have ammo for that? No. Well then we'll just have you run up and try and close in. In turn. Cultists and their ninja habits. There he is. Just not clever enough to stab my guy while his back is turned. There we go. So far, we're doing better than last time. Two successful captures. Permission, only one agent lost permission. I think we're, we're doing better. Wouldn't say it's quite good, but better. So let's uh, refill our stock of agents. And um, go to base, equip craft. I forgot to buy equipment for this craft. That was probably a mistake. And I don't think I've gotten agents training. Do I have... no, they're not all training. So, they're all training now. And I need to purchase some equipment or else these guys are not going to be able to do anything. are already... I guess we picked them up off the dead. And... Well, I guess we aren't completely out of equipment. I do need more stuff, though. Clip craft. Also, armor. Forgetting to armor, my guys, is literally a lethal mistake. They're all armored now. Let's add a pilot. You look like the best pilot. Alright. Awesome. Go to base. Quick craft. Yes. There we go, that's a fully equipped, ready to go craft. So we'll zip ahead, intercept. We'll send this crew out there. Again, forgot to pilot it. Guess Retcon Raider is going to be our pilot for this craft today. And. Okay. 
begin mission. Now, there are options on these missions to try to hunt things and keep them alive. However, that's very high risk depending on what's out there and I don't feel like being high risk. So I'm just not. Whatever's out there, it's dead. Dead as a doornail. Which, hopefully in this case, is very dead. However, I've been surprised before and gotten guys killed. So we'll see about keeping our guys alive today, if we can. Well, can't see anything yet. You know, throw your torch out there. Can't throw that far. Of course not. Oh! Mogarn Savages. These guys aren't terribly scary as long as you don't, you know, let them close in on you. Which we're going to do our best to not allow them to do that. You're going to throw your torch over here just to make sure there isn't one of them behind us. And you're going to come up here and throw it that way to make sure there isn't one of them over there. Oh, there's two of them, at least. But they aren't the most dangerous things. We have shotguns, reasonably long-ranged weapons. What, it, what I wouldn't do for some hunting rifles right about now, but... I think we can take them. I'm landing the first shot. Is unnamed person who's going to get named at some point. By the way, if anybody watching wants a soldier named in their honor as meat for the um, meat grinder, just leave a comment with the name and nationality you desire and I'll add him to the roster. Hopefully we'll um, see some some of them survive long enough to actually make it to a decent rank, but we'll see. I have no idea how things are going to work out. And this game being highly lethal, there's a good chance that none of you will live to see retirement. Hey! Got him to bleed. That's progress. You, you're gonna um, whip out another flashlight and after you move up a couple of steps, I'll um, have you zip on up. Can't run very fast, but at least you'll add some visibility. Well, my shotgun people man the front line. And you, um, yeah, you'll sneak over here. All right. That's what shotgunners do. Oh, yeah. Let's get some good shots in on him. Alright, so there's more than two of them left. Or there's more than two of them at least. Don't know how many are left. Might just be one, might be four. Problem with superhuman. There's way more guys than you want, but not really a clear indicator of how many there will be. You are the most worthless throw I have ever seen. You make Howard Wallowitz's baseball skills look legendary. Well, whip out your flashlight and proceed with caution. All right, and you, you'll just take a step up. All right. Since you're worthless throw, I mean worthless. I guess I'll just have you hold on to the flashlight. You're just gonna walk up here. Well, we're 
most of the way to the back of the screen, so there's probably only one or two left. Hoping we can cause another to bleed out without killing it. go. That might be the very last one of them. Nope, there's two. I suspected as much. Wonderful. At least we've got them in our sights now. And potentially put them down without any injuries whatsoever. Which is, of course, the goal on any mission. Don't get hurt. Well. No, unfortunately, in order to not get hurt, you need to actually hit your darn targets. Such bad shot. Well, he's downed. Let's see what happens here. All right, so our last, hopefully, target. I don't think you hit him once. You're terrible. You should feel bad about that. Florius, nice. He's bleeding, that's a good sign. There we go. Another couple of shots that completely failed to connect with their target. And Ritcon Raider. Let's see if you can't, um... Yes! And there we go. No injuries. I will call that a success. And as it's been about a half hour, I will call this mission over here. We'll pick up next time with a hopefully newly named squad and um, some progress to help fight against the aliens. <laughs>